Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over some news in the cryptocurrency space, and then also going over the price of Bitcoin after the recent pullback. So like I mentioned in my previous video, I was uh, pretty confident that the previous move was a dead cat bounce, and indeed that is exactly what played, played out. So just in Goldman Sachs, expected to cut as many as 4,000 jobs in their latest round of layoffs. So layoffs have officially spread beyond tech and into finance and retail. So the big question is, you know, are we going to be in a recession? It almost feels like we're, we already are in one. And you know, when you hear that a company like Goldman Sachs can cut 4,000 people and still function, I think it just goes to show that many of these companies, they hire way too many people. I mean, obviously Twitter cut 75% of their employees and is not only to continue able to continue functioning, but continue function, functioning better than normal. So here's some recent events. Credit card debt near a record 1 trillion. Mortgage demand hits lowest since 1997. Americans lost 7 trillion in net worth this year. FTX collapsed. Collapse marks 30 billion fraud case, housing market falling um, at fat, uh, the fastest pace since 2011. Just in 600 million Bitcoin were taken off exchanges yesterday. So now more than ever, people are taking their Bitcoin off exchanges, obviously. And that will actually uh, keep the price propped up pretty decently if people can continue to do that. So yesterday, Donald Trump announced his NFT and supposedly sold 45,000 of them within 12 hours, which was pretty surprising. When I first saw that, I'm like, who would want to buy that? But I guess there's still those fans out there. It's just in, Sam Bankman frieds family called uh, Bahamas prison to request vegan meals for him to eat. That was reported by the New York Post. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna get into this on this video. I might make another one later this afternoon, but Kevin O'Leary has explained what happened with the FTX situation. And from every and all the information that he knows, basically Binance had a 20%, basically owned 20% of FTX, and they demanded um, that payout be made. I think it was approximately $3 billion. Don't quote me on that. And so that was kind of what triggered the collapse. From what I'm seeing here, CZ, in my opinion, purposely took down FTX. Um, he had definitely some motives. You know, a lot of people are not trusting Binance. People are now taking their funds off of Binance at a very fast rate. People do not trust Binance. And I guess like if you go to like sue Binance, it's nearly impossible because their legal structure is so complicated and they just keep on rotating of like where they're registered as a company to avoid a lot of like potential lawsuits and things like that. So um, Kevin O'Leary came out and in a sense, like kind of blamed finance, but also blamed Sam Bankman Freed for actually paying out. Um, and the evaluation was extremely, extremely high. And so it seems like Binance, you know, they just took what they could from FTX and then really triggered the fail after that. But like I said, might go in later on that of Kevin O'Leary's explanation. So SP, S&P 500 closes at its lowest level since November 10th um, as markets digest the Fed pivot. Um, in other words, traders realize that a Fed pivot simply means smaller rate hikes into an already declining economy. Um, let's go ahead and see here. So yeah, this is a Kevin O'Leary video. If you go under my likes on Twitter, you can take a look at it, but I'm not, it's about four minutes. I'm not gonna go over that in this particular video. So this kind of just shows um, a little bit of shadiness on the, on the side of Binance. So basically Binance um, announced that they will delist Myth. So Binance required Myth to make a $200,000 BNB deposit Okay, so that was basically like, if you wanna be listed on our exchange, you have to deposit 200,000 BNB. So now they're delisting it, and now Myth is asking for those funds back, $52 million. Gonna be really curious to see how that plays out. Um, just in PayPal partners with MetaMask to integrate new crypto services. 
I feel like we're kind of in a period of time where there could be a lot of positive news coming out, but it's really not going to really positively impact the price all that much just because of all um, the other things that are happening. So before I continue on, I want to go ahead and mention iTrust Capital. iTrust Capital is where you can actually purchase Bitcoin with an Roth IRA account. So imagine buying Bitcoin now and then withdrawing it when you're 59 and a half and not having to pay any taxes on the gains. You can also trade within your uh, IRA account and it is a non-taxable event. So that is absolutely huge. I have a link down below if you want to get started today with iTrust Capital. You also get $100 free in Bitcoin when you get started. So you can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, many other coins, along with precious metals. So now onto the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin currently sitting at $16,812. Let's go ahead and zoom out to the seven day chart here. Alrighty. So what we've been seeing is Bitcoin really not, um, not doing really well when it comes to the CPI announcements. Um, typically falling afterwards, and that's what we are currently seeing in this particular situation. So this right here is the weekly chart on Bitcoin. We have this green two trading above the green one, um, but with the current decrease in price, this was obviously looking a lot better, but we anticipated Bitcoin to see resistance around $18,000. Let's take a look here at the daily chart on Bitcoin. Let's see, daily chart has made a lower low on a Bitcoin, so the daily chart has now turned bearish. And like I said, that 50 DMA is where Bitcoin struggled to get past. It wicked above it, wicked above it, but did not technically close above it. So daily chart not looking too good. 12 hour chart not looking too good. None of these charts are going to look too good. We already know this. Four hour chart, one hour chart also looking bearish, Bitcoin making lower lows. Let's take a look at the 30 minute chart. Nothing there. Let's see if we have anything on the five minute chart here. No, nothing here. Nothing here to uh, give us any confirmation of any, any, even a short term position on Bitcoin. So um, I use the, the Gemini chart here and that's just because that's where I was previously um, going to making my purchases. That has since changed because of all the information coming out around Genesis and the connection with Gemini. But this is the, my Coinbase chart here, and um, I have the CPI points on here. And as you can see, this has been happening pretty much all year long. Bitcoin doesn't really do too well in most scenarios after the CPI numbers are out. Um, and once again, we're seeing that play out over here in this scenario. So Bitcoin, I mean, I do not like the way that Bitcoin has bottom off of the previous lows. And that's why I've been saying all this time, I do not believe that the bottom is in. There is such an important aspect when it comes to Bitcoin of just being a patient. It's so easy. Like there is nothing that bothers me worse than when people are like, Jim Cramer said, sell all your crypto. The bottom is in. Anyone that says stupid shit like that, you really should not listen to them. I think that's the most pathetic way to try to, um, predict bottoms and tops is based off of news. If you did that, you would be a big loser when it comes to losing a lot of money. So Core Scientific is sitting at 27 cents. Gold is back down below 1800 at 1788. Coinbase stock, oh my goodness, $35. Okay, um, Coinbase is definitely going to $20. I below Coinbase is definitely going below twenty dollars, and um, I don't know if I really believe in Coinbase enough to purchase it. But you're going to be able to get that stock at one hell of a price if you're interested and if you're patient. Let's see the high here, and this is like this is exactly why you never chase um, the IPO. So the top came in at four hundred and twenty nine dollars um, the week that it had. Um, that IPO'd, right? Yeah. And um, down to $35. I'm telling you guys, chasing is not the way to do it. Dot sitting at $5.04. Link sitting at $6.13. And after looking at all of this, we definitely know that traditional stocks are also down today as well. We have SPY sitting at uh, 382 And SPY has lost its uh, daily uptrend and has made a lower low. And so 
um, anticipating support over here at about 363. So um, this trend right here has me also believing that there is more room. There are more room for downside on Bitcoin as well. Let's take a look here at marijuana stocks. Tilray sitting at 317. And um, some stocks are up, you know, 5 to 10 percentages, percentage points, while others are down between 3 and 10 percentage points. So a little bit of mixed um, directions when it comes to marijuana stocks. Okay, so why is Tesla down so significantly? Well, we just found out that Elon Musk sold, I think it was, 3 point something billion dollars of Tesla stock. So he dumped it, which in my opinion means he believes that there's a lot more room for downside. So like I've been saying for a while, be, be patient on Tesla. I think there's going to be a buying opportunity of a lifetime. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Like I said, I trust capital. Check out the link down below, $100 free in Bitcoin. You can actually trade within your account and it is a non-taxable event, which is massive. So that's all that I have for you today. Uh, one other thing I want to mention, I'm doing 30 minute calls from now until the end of the year for only $30. So if you want to take advantage of that call, you can ask me anything about crypto, um, Bitcoin, life in Puerto Rico, making the move to Puerto Rico. Now's the time to move to Puerto Rico. Um, people want to move when you know, Bitcoin's reaching all time highs. That is not the time. Now is the time when Bitcoin is down in the dumps, but very few people actually do that. So that's all that I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.